uh, kind of started the way I thought it would. You know, I thought DC was pretty good on defense, and I still do. Uh, I just got worn out a little bit, obviously. But uh, back and forth, like this game usually is. <coughs> um, and then uh, I thought we did a good job of, of changing our mindset offensively uh, towards the end of the second quarter. Uh, you know, started using some different tempos with them. <clears throat> which I thought was, was good by, by Jake's part. And, uh, then we just got momentum. <clears throat> you know, created a turnover. I thought special teams played really good. Uh, created a turnover in the kicking game and then uh, jumped up on 24 to, it was half time scores, 24 to 3, I believe. Um, you know, and then we came out, we started fast in the second half, too. Uh, and got a three and out safety. Or, Offensively took it down the score. So, uh, happy with the way we played. The goal is to be 8 1. We're 8 1. We'll enjoy it. And we want to still order the model. Question. Dan, you talked about <coughs> up tempo. Is that about as fast you've gone this year? And, and when you do that, where are the positives? Well, I, we just got to get into a rhythm. I mean, we all, you know, we all in this room, I think, understand, you know, up tempo can be detrimental to team if not done properly. Uh, so I just, I believe in, in mixing that and, you know, it's, it's a way of uh, sparking us, so to speak. So, um, you know, we, we need to be able to have that in our back pocket. I think last year we probably did it too much. This year I think we're doing it about right. We just got to bury it. I think it's a, it's a good change up. It, it, if you're sputtering a little bit, changing things up <coughs> is, is good. So, you know, I like, I, I like Will being able to control that. Sit there and figure out what they're doing. Go slow, be efficient, but then also we can push it and, and catch them off balance as well. So I think it caught them off guard there in the second quarter because we had we haven't done just a ton of it. You know, plays have been down, you know, trying to be as efficient as we can, which I think we have been. Uh, but uh, that 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 brings a different element to what we do offensively. Is the goal to get you from specific personnel or just to get them out of position? No, they don't. I mean, a little bit. You know, they didn't, they don't, Gary never really changes a whole lot, but their third down package is obviously a little different. They go odd like everybody does. So we wanted to, <clears throat> we wanted to push that a little bit. And you catch them in that, then you want to, you want to keep them in it, then you go fast. If you want to prevent them from getting their uh, specific people in there, then you go fast. So I just think you change it and use it to your advantage. Thoughts on Trevon Wesco today? Saying it for all year. He's, he's, he's getting better every game. The blocking aspect of it is something that we've seen all year. <laughs> and, you know, the more he plays and the more uh, we scheme things up for him, the better he is. So, um, yeah, he's pretty good. You know, he's a big part of what we're doing and why we're so successful, you know, offensively right now. He's a big part of that. So, you know, I, I've seen this coming for a while. The numbers in the run game weren't as eye popping as last week, but once the run game did finally oh, yeah, get going, that is a negative. <laughs> how much did that? I mean, benefit the offense you after know, that slow so start? Like the number one defense in the league. Yeah, yeah. So I thought we ran the ball effectively. How about the defensive effort? Really good. They were motivated all week. Um, you know, we've been playing good defense. I, I've said this a hundred times that you know, Coach Gibson is <laughs> arguably done as good a job as a defensive coordinator and as, as anybody in college football. Um, we got high standards for playing good defense here. And last week, we probably didn't play like we, like we could have. I think our opponent, like I said on Tuesday, I think our opponent had something to do with that. Texas played well <coughs> offensively, but uh, we were pretty motivated to come back and, and play better. And, and obviously, we didn't. You have that seven-minute span, 30 points, offense, defense, special teams all had plays to contribute to that. Is that as complete a span as you've seen in all the phases this year? Yeah, probably. Uh, I think I think we've played together really well this year, which is why we're 8-1. Um, there's been spurts of that throughout the course of every game, except for one. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this team feeds off each other, and they understand that. They understand complementary football. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with just you know the relationship that our team has. You know, we got a lot of offense, defense, uh, good positive stuff going on.
So they feed off each other and they are experienced and understand you know, when, when they need to pick up the other side or when they need to respond based on what the other side did. So it's as good as I've seen yet. When you said you expected a slow start, maybe a little bit of emotional letdown. When you recognize that, is, do you kind of maybe back off and say, okay, we just got to play to get into it and get the emotion to work into it? Yeah, I had to, had to let it settle in a little bit. <clears throat> you know, I felt like our, you know, we were playing for a lot more than they were, so it wasn't surprising that how it started. Um, you know, but, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of panic going on. Uh, probably said a few things after we sputtered, like the third time of the river. For the most part, just keep playing and um, you know, just let the game settle in. I figured we would uh, start making plays and get some excitement. Our crowd was once again awesome. And, you know, it was a great day for football. <coughs> okay, you Considering all he's been through, is it not, how nice is it to see him get some snaps? Yeah. And yeah, him and Qualls both, they got cleared at the same time. And, and Ferns was ready to go today, and Qualls wasn't quite ready. Plus, we want to save calls for a four game stretch. Uh, you know, and Ferns we don't need to, so it's you know good to see him come back. He, he's a he's a great kid and hard worker. You know, it's good to see him go out there and play. He'll, he'll play more next week. <clears throat> yeah, you had a good idea of you were before the start of the season to keep so many people back, but uh, it just seems like the last few games you've been able to focus and access whatever you want to get in the future. Um just refined it, just the break between games, good for you. It kind of times up with that. Yeah, I thought it was good for us, but uh, you know, getting your tail beat in, you know, kind of opens everybody's eyes a little bit. But you know, it's college football, and the biggest thing, and I'm really sick of that talking about this, but um, we weren't going to let that define us. You know, what happens after that is who is what we're going to have to find us. So, you know, we've been pretty good since, obviously, for three games. We've, Played well, um, but our our guys they, they know that if you don't bring your your best in the Big Twelve, you're gonna get you're gonna get beat. It's gonna be tough. Next week's gonna be another another huge challenge. <clears throat> Looking forward to watching that game here. It's probably started by now, right? Um, but, you know, ready to watch Bedlam and, and, and get ready for Oklahoma State. How important are those guys like X Relo taking advantage of those opportunities in the gap? Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of those kids, extra low, and Josh Chandler's another one. Uh, I paid just a single no, no two out, but, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, we're getting a lot of snaps from a lot of important guys, a lot of special team snaps from a lot of, a lot of important younger guys. So it's good to see him. I think he got, he had one fumble recovery to get to. He got the, he got the kick off. Yeah, pull. Yeah, yeah, pull. Think, right? <clears throat> yeah. He's been playing well, and he had, he had continued to uh, continued to play. Dante still has made a couple of big plays in the backfield, especially that intentional grounding. What did you see from him today, and how has he progressed this year? I didn't study what he specifically did. He's been doing a good job in proud of how he's been practicing. You know, not, not many freshmen on the O line or D line can physically play like that that quick. You know, he obviously can. He's going to be a really good player for us. Sandwich is the. Third guy now to get significant snaps at Mike. Just what did, what did you see from him? Yeah, I mean, Tom tried to go and just couldn't, you know. And then Shea got a stinger. Uh, those two are gonna be fine. <clears throat> but I mean, it's the next man up deal, you know. And I was, I was happy with how he went in there and played. Um, you know, said it a thousand times. If you want to, if you want to win the Big Twelve, you gotta have backups going there and play. And if you had to write a story on this, if you had to write my story on this game or one of our stories, what would you focus on? What I would want be your the job, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 would, what would be the focus of what you what you, what came out of that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, TC don't get beat like that. Gary said that after we did this two years ago here. We won what thirty-five to ten. He's like TC don't get beat like that. This was like their worst loss in like three decades or something. So, you know, I think that uh, tells you where our team is right now, where our program is right now. Going off of that, I mean, can you talk about the team's confidence level? It's high. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's high. Morale's good. Confidence is good. Work ethic is good. So, uh, it's, 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 
That's why we're winning. Um, you know, you're only as good as your next one. So these guys got to keep doing that. I got no reason to believe that they won't. They're pretty motivated. You know, we got we got we got a tough Oklahoma State team on the road next week. You know, they they came here last year and was pretty good. So that gave me some ammo to be able to talk about. Okay, thanks, Coach. Uh,